Welcome to this week's episode of A Real Change TV. Hey everyone, my name is Jeremy Krakowski and I'm the Head Media Director here at A Real Change International. Sandy asked me to come on here and share a special episode with you just about the journey that I've gone on in the last year and a half and some things that I've had to get past and get beyond resistance to accomplish some goals that I set. To make it long story short, in the last year and a half I've completely turned my life around and I've lost over a hundred pounds of fat as well as gained muscle in my body. But beyond that, it's more than just the physical. It's more than just what you eat. It's more than working out. It's actually the hardest battle is in your head. And so I have some notes here I'm going to share with you on my smartphone. Some of the things that I did to both get to my goal in the last year and a half and break through resistance. So number one, I want to tell you the biggest tip that I can give is set a goal. Whatever it is in business, fitness, life, relationship, set a goal. Set a date and set what you want your life to look like at that time. What I did was I, <laughs> I actually said I want to do a photo shoot um, September 28th, October 2013. And so I went towards that goal. And as you can see here, I took some awesome pictures just last weekend doing a photo shoot for my fitness goals. And so I set a goal and I accomplished it. But see, I'd be lying if I said it was easy. And the reason why is because you need to expect resistance. Resistance happens when you're doing something that creates change. There's a law of physics that says for every action, there's an equal or opposite reaction. And what that is is when you go forward or you go up or you go down, even in a digression, there will be resistance that will hit you and it will send you back to where you came from. This even happens in the stock market. Stocks rise up and then they hit resistance and knock down. What will happen is with your goals, you'll hit resistance, whether it comes from family, friends, your own brain, old tapes in your head, um, just feelings, even chemical imbalances in your body that will resist change, or that will resist you from going forward. People say that you know once you pass $100,000 in your income, you can go far beyond that. And there's these milestones, $100,000, a million dollars, that when people pass them, they can go beyond that. But there's resistance at these different levels of income, as well as with fitness. For me, there's plateaus that happen. You know, I kind of was stuck at about 50 pounds of weight loss. I was stuck at about 60 pounds. But then what I did was I got some very specific training from my personal trainer that I hired, Sagi Kalev. And he helped me strategize how to transform my body the way that it is today. And now beyond that, I'm moving forward to actually build muscle and I want to do some competitions with some men's physique bodybuilding next year. So that, that's another goal that I set. Now that I accomplished that photo shoot goal, I now have a goal for next year already moving forward. The third thing that I want to say is to change your surroundings. Now that might sound complicated for some people. That might sound like something that you can't do. If you're single like me, what I do is I was having trouble in my business working for ARC, working from home because I was by myself at home all day. So I got a co-working space that I go to. It's an office that I work at. And if you hear some people behind me right now, I'm actually at my co-working space right now recording this video. There's people here from other companies all over Dallas, the Dallas area that work here out of this co-working space. Change your surroundings. Another big thing that I had to do was to change my surroundings was delete my Facebook profile. I had a lot of crappy friends is what it was on there. People that were negative, people that were knocking me down, knocking my goals down, bringing me back and causing that resistance to happen. So what I did was I changed that surrounding, a place where most people in the world hang out now is Facebook. Facebook is like a nation. So I deleted my old Facebook profile and created a new one and got new, more positive, uplifting friends. And so the fourth one that I want to share with you, and this is big, is to celebrate progress. 
any progress, whether it's a 1% increase, a 2% increase, 5%, 10%, if you hit those milestones towards your goal, those percentages, you can even keep track on say like a thermometer or some kind of a chart that can show where you're moving forward. And sometimes your progress isn't quantifiable, but the best thing is to find a way to track it, celebrate that progress, and even if it's a little bit of progress, don't feel like because your progress isn't a big goal of say losing 100 pounds like mine was, or making 100 or 200 thousand dollars like some other people's are, but celebrate that progress of, oh, I made $200 this week in my business. I made $500 this week. I made $1,000. I lost five pounds. I lost 10 pounds. I lost 20 pounds. Celebrate that progress every time moving forward. That's really what I wanted to share with you, those four things. Just to recap, set a goal, set a date and time, and move forward towards your goal. Expect resistance. It's going to happen. But be aware of it and learn to move forward past it and keep your goal in sight. The other is change your surroundings. If your surroundings around you are what is either distracting you or keeping you from reaching your goal or you feel that way, change it. You're not a puppet, you're not a tree. You are not planted like a tree in the ground. You have legs that you can walk and move out of your surroundings. And the other one is to celebrate progress. Every little bit of progress that you make Celebrate it. It is something to be celebrated no matter how big or small it is. Now next week, if you haven't registered, we have this social media GPS virtual summit. I'm actually flying up to Indiana. I'm going to be recording in our brand new HD TV studio with four cameras. We have a few hundred people already registered to be on that. And we would love to have you on as well. If you haven't registered, visit arealchange.com forward slash blog and find out how you can get registered for the Social Media GPS Summit. We also have a special episode of A Real Change TV coming next week. It's actually pulled from our vault from last year's 2012 Social Media GPS Summit. And it's a tip and a strategy that you can use right away in your business to increase engagement and profits in your business. So I hope to see you next week on A Real Change TV.